What is going on guys? It's your friend, your pal, Purple Grizzly, and the last few days have been huge for Call of Duty. Uh, you know, we have received so much new information and so in and just so many details on Infinite Warfare and the Call of Duty 4 re remastered. And it's there's there's so much that I, I haven't been able to make a video on everything, but I definitely wanted to talk about this. Um, I think myself and a lot of other people out there, you may agree. Let me know in the comments down below. I am more excited for the remastered Call of Duty 4, especially once I learned it's going to have full multiplayer support. It's going to have a full, you know, full ranking up system. It's going to have unlocks. It's going to have dedicated servers. Um, and they are saying that they're only bringing back 10 maps. I don't know if they're going to plan on releasing more as DLC. I'm sure they will because it would make money. But we we know of five so far and for this video if you aren't familiar with what five maps are already confirmed to be coming back I want to talk about those. thankfully really so far these are all amazing maps and I'm not sure what the other five are gonna be but so far it seems like we're off to a good start um, so this first one let's talk about is crash and crash is a huge huge like map for Call of Duty 4 I think they even brought it back in Modern Warfare 2 and it's always been a fan favorite for Call of Duty players. It features a crashed helicopter surrounded by buildings, and it's just a very fun map to play. Second, we have Backlot, which was another amazing Call of Duty 4 map. It featured this two 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 story buildings that kind of were in the center of the map, and it had a uh, the map had a square like route pattern to it. Um, and it, this map was also a lot of fun. It played really well, and just all these maps in general played really well. And uh, so this next one also is Crossfire and I think Crossfire is one of my very like favorite Call of Duty 4 maps it's probably my top two maybe three and I was I was stoked when I heard that they were bringing this back it's the one where um, the the street kind of takes a takes a couple turns and there's there's a bus there there's tons of two-story buildings it's a great map for sniping it's a great map for domination and uh, it's just a lot of fun and it's also it's you'll notice that these Call of Duty 4 maps are so much more different than maps nowadays they play so much more differently next up was bog and bog was a fan favorite um, there were people who did not like this map myself I loved it um, like I said it's a great sniping map I'm, I was really into Call of Duty 4 sniping um, it's it's a map that takes place at night it's this big open field that's kind of war torn and there's a couple tanks laying around um, it's a really cool kind of open map you wouldn't think that it would play well but it actually does and then last but definitely not least is overgrown and I think this is perhaps my favorite Call of Duty 4 map. It was either this or Crossfire, and uh, I was really stoked when I found out that they're bringing back uh, Overgrown, and they even brought this map back for Modern Warfare 2, and, and you know, that's just another example of how much of a fan favorite this map was. Um, and this is also going to be the map where we're really going to see the, the noticeable changes uh, in graphics, and, uh, you know, because everything is just overgrown. There's so much grass and foliage, and... Um, a lot of things are covered in moss and it's a very um, cool like earthy kind of urban map I know that's weird er earthy urban um, and it's kind of it's it's cut in half with this creek and there's a couple bridges that you can go across um, or you can go down through the creek to get to the other side of the map and uh, it's just it's a really great big map um, and I also you know some information is they're saying you know that they were gonna carefully remaster the graphics of these maps you know they were going to do so with love and they wanted overgrown to be that setting example that they spent so much time working on overgrown that's what the, they wanted the rest of the maps to uh follow that standard so the you know just hearing that and and that they took so much care and love for overgrown that's going to be awesome and i'm really excited to see that so those are the first five confirmed maps that we have that we're going to get in Call of Duty 4 Remastered Edition. Um, let me know down in the comments what maps would you guys like to see. I'm so excited to see what they do with the maps that we know about. And I'm also really curious to see what maps that they bring back. Um, personally, I think I don't, I think it would be fun if they brought back Shipment. That, that was the original Close Quarters map for Call of Duty. And, uh, you know, it got really chaotic. There was those shipping containers. 
and it's just it was a good map and but there's so <laughs> there's so many good maps that they could bring back from Call of Duty 4. Um, let me know down in the comments what what maps do you guys want to see? Also, if you guys are not familiar with who I am, my name's Purple Grizzly, or you may know me or get to know me as Brian. And I like to make these Call of Duty videos. And if you want to subscribe, I don't think you'd regret that decision. But whether or not you do so, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. Really helps me out, makes me feel good on the inside, tickles my heart. Um, yeah, let's hope for the best for the future of Call of Duty. If Infinite Warfare sucks, we know we'll have Call of Duty 4 remastered. Hope you guys have a nice rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.